Hello friends, in this video, we will see more problems based on boards and streams. Let us consider a man speed with the current with the current is 15 kilometers per hour and the speed the speed of the current is 2.5 kilometers per hour then then the man speed against the man speed against the current is against the current is so a man speed with the current is that means if you assume x is the man speed in still water and y is the current speed okay y is the current speed then a man speed with the current so that is x plus y equivalent to 15 kilometers per hour is given okay x is the what man speed in still water okay this is still water and this is the current speed that means water speed okay this is the current speed that is y so that means the man speed with the current that is x plus y is 15 kilometers per hour and the speed of the current is the speed of the current what we assume that is y so the speed of the current is also given that is 2.5 kilometers per hour then we have to find the man speed against the current so man speed in still water is x and current speed is y then the man speed against the current is given by x minus y so we have to find x minus y okay so for that we have to find the value of the x so if we substitute y value here 2.5 then the x value we will get is x is equal to 12.5 kilometers per hour so that is the man speed in still water but we have to find the man speed against the current that is x minus y so we know x value, we know y value that is 2.5. Okay, we will substitute in this. So that is going to be x that is 12.5 minus 2.5 is equal to 10 kilometers per hour. So the man speed against the current is 10 kilometers per hour. So I hope you got this one. Okay. Let's see another problem based on the time speed distance so a motor boat a motor boat whose speed is whose speed is 15 kilometers per hour 15 kilometers per hour is sorry 15 kilometers per hour in still water still water goes 13 kilometers downstream and comes back and comes back in a total of 4 hours 30 minutes then the speed of the stream then the speed of the stream yes then the speed of the stream is okay so a motor boat whose speed is 15 kilometers per hour in still water still water is goes to 30 kilometers downstream okay that means along with the stream and comes back that means upstream in total time 4 hours 30 minutes 4 hours 30 minutes then the speed of the stream is so let us assume the speed of the stream is x kilometers per hour. Let us assume the speed of the stream is x kilometers per hour. So the motor boat whose speed is 15 kilometers in still water. Okay, that is 15 kilometers in still water. So that means the motor boat's down speed is 15 plus x. Why? Because it is going downstream. So that means we have to add the stream speed also. We assume that it is so then upstream is going to be 
15 minus x. This is the upstream speed. Okay. So in upstream, in downstream, he covered 30 kilometers. Down speed, he covered 30 kilometers. In upstream also, he covered 30 kilometers per hour. Okay. So downstream speed is 15 plus x. He covered 30 kilometers. Upstream, his speed is 15 minus x, and he covered 30 kilometers. Where x is the speed of the stream. Okay. So, but it is also given the total time he covered is 4 hours 30 minutes. Upstream 30 kilometers and down, downstream 30 kilometers he covered in 4 hours 30 minutes. That means the total time. So, the time to travel to the upstream is given by upstream, I mean downstream. Here we take downstream is given by 30 plus 15 plus x. Okay. So, the distance he traveled 30 kilometers with speed 15 plus x. That means the time taken. So the downstream is 13 by 30 by 15 plus x plus and the 30 kilometers upstream travel time taken to tra travel 30 kilometers upstream is given by 15 minus x the total time is given as 4 hours 30 minutes the total time is given as 4 hours 30 minutes so we convert this one into 9 by 2 9 by 2 so now we will solve this equation. Okay. Now we will solve this equation. So then we will get the value of x. So then we will get the value of the x. So there is a here the LCM is going to be so 15 square minus x square. 15 square is 225 minus x square by and uh, above is So, 30 into 30, above is going to be 900, above it is going to be 900, equal into 9 by 2. So, that is 9 into 100, we do 900 uh, into 200. So, 200, here it is going to be 200 is equal to 225, 225 minus x square, minus x square. So that means minus x square. That means x square is equal to 225 minus 20. So that means x is equal to 20. x square is equal to 25. That means x is equal to plus or minus 5. But we take only plus 5. Why? Because x is the speed of the stream. So the speed of the stream is always going to be positive only. So that means the speed of the stream is 5 kilometers per hour. 5 kilometers per hour. So, I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.